Hi, this is Tamika with Pastries, Plums, and Pine. I'm here with an unboxing of a Planners Anonymous uh, kit. This one is called Shop to Drop. So if you're interested to see what's inside, stick around. All right, so this kit again is called Shop to Drop. I'm going to go over everything first that is in the standard kit, and then I will show you some additional items that you can add on to your kit. So let me move some things out of the way. So first here is the welcome card for the kit. It says, I see it, I like it, I want it, I got it. And then on the back it says, shopping is my therapy. What I noticed already is that this girl doesn't have a name. This might be a first that Planners Anonymous has not given a name to the main character. I wonder if they realize that she has no name. <laughs> but I love this color palette. And although there's pink again, I still love the teal blue um, in there as well. And the black and white line art that's in there also. This is very pretty here. Shopping is my therapy. Yes, it is. All right. And here is the pen for this kit. It has this pearlescent teal blue barrel with I believe this is rose gold accents and then you can see the crystals in there uh, the blues and the clear crystals and of course it says planners anonymous on it but yeah very pretty all right let's move those to the side then the mystery item is a planner clip with little charms on it. We got a planner kit. I, we got a planner clip, I believe, in the last two kits as well. So let's see here. And it is rose gold, and you can see it has some pink, some of that teal color, uh, black, and then it has a little high heeled shoe on there as well. All right, then we have our stamp kit. I don't I hope that's not a clear, but the stamp kit here we have the uh, shop door, this filigree piece down here at the bottom, the shopping list with some um, shopping bags for little goodies. We have the piggy bank. I don't know what that is. It looks like a doorknob. I think it's a doorknob. Then there's a little coin there, the nail polish, the mini with her shopping and her coffee, splurge wish, wish list, no spin, payment due, and save. And then at the bottom here, we have a few little goodies like another nail polish, mascara, looks like a compact. And so those are all of the stamps for this kit. So this kit has a mixture of shopping appeal, fashion, and also spending and savings. So something in there for everyone. All right, here's the set of die cuts. Let's take a look at these. one trying to stick in there all right let's take a good look at all of these die cuts here all right so we have a lot of the floral pieces um, both the pink and the teal let's see if there's any more is this one here another one here there might be some more in there but there are these I think this flower is called a camellia it's not quite a rose I think it's called a camellia all right then we have a, some of the nail polish bottles We have, which I still believe is supposed to be a compact, or is it a coin? It might be a coin. 
to coin. We have a lot of different aspects here. We have a fashion magazine and a telephone. Some shopping bags. Whoops. Yeah, look at this. The street lamp. That is so pretty. I like that a lot. We have these mirrors. Oh, and I got two of them. I don't know if I was supposed to get two, but hey, I got two. And they have the pretty florals on them and some ribbon. And these are functional as well as just decorative, these two die cuts here, because you could still write on those. Um, and all of the die cuts are adhesive backed. So you just pull the backing, which I can't get it up right there, so there you go. So you just pull the backing up and then you can adhere them to things. So they are adhesive back. Then we have the Eiffel Tower with those beautiful florals on it. A package, because you know sometimes we like to shop online and get things shipped to us. <laughs> then we have these uh, beautiful hedges or flower boxes, if you want to call them that. So we got several of those. There's another nail polish bottle. That one's a bigger one. And then we have a shoe box with the high heels popping out of there. Another little street light. Then we have a stack of packages. Oops, I guess it goes this way with the florals. No, maybe it goes this way <laughs> with the florals on there as well. We have the dress form with a pretty dress. And then over here we have the cute piggy bank, which is the cutest die cut ever. Cute piggy bank. And then we have a savings card. So I just purchased a budget planner. Um, that's going to be a part of my 2023 lineup. And I can definitely use these in that planner. All right, so those are the die cuts. Let's take a look at the washi. There are three washi tapes. The skinny washi here is um, a banner of pennants here. If I can find where it starts. I don't know. This is a hard one. <laughs> I don't know where this starts. I feel like it's right in here. There it is. Okay. Alrighty. So here is that washi. It has all that banner running through with all the colors of the kit in there. And then we have this standard washi. This one has the florals with the teal and then it has some rose gold specks in it. If you could see the specks of rose gold in there. It's hard for me to see myself because of my lighting, but it might be well, coming off better for you guys. All right. And then the wide washi is the shops that we are shopping at. So we've got all of these shops. And one thing you're going to find is all of these shops are based on Planners Anonymous kits. So I think that is just so fun. So it just keeps repeating um, all of those same shops. I think there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven shops. I think there's seven shops. All right. 
And then the standard kit, you also get um, two sticker sheets. Let's take a look at those. One sheet is more decorative while the other is a little bit more functional. Let me zoom in a little bit here. So here is the first sheet, very decorative. You've got these border pieces, some of those flower box pieces, and a lot of the same deco that we saw in the die cuts. We have this sticker that says receipts, a savings card sticker, and you also have the piggy bank as a sticker too. And then the other sheet, like I said, is more functional. You have some date dots for the month, some headers, some banners for the days of the week. You have the folding planner sticker. So this would be, um, this sticker actually folds. So it looks like you're opening up the planner. And then you have a, a sticker showcasing the next kit and oh my goodness i'm gonna try to link it in the description the trailer for this next kit if you're not subscribed to planners anonymous you have to see the trailer of this kit it is amazing it's probably the best thing they've ever done and i always have a link in the description box to subscribe so this subscription is open for this kit right now and you can click the link that I have in the subscription and you'll save 10% on your first subscription box. All right, and so they have the dancing minis and a few other decorative pieces here. And this looks, I don't know, that's cut down there. This isn't cut down here, but you can take a craft knife and cut along here, cut along here, and then make a, a washi strip out of that sticker. All right, so there's the two sticker sheets. Then you also get some papers. So let me zoom back out so you can see the papers. So you get six papers, two of two each of three different designs. And you also get a sheet of vellum and a sheet of acetate with every kit. So first here we have, and I know it's probably a glare, we have the acetate. It's just black on there this time. No foiling. So it's black. Let me see. I could put something behind it so you can see. There you go. So it's just black and it's got those camellias on it. Alright, then here is the vellum. And it has all of the shops on there. So like I said, these shops are based on Planners Anonymous kits. Sweet Art was an actual kit that we had. And it also had a digital kit. Chapter 3 was an actual kit with a digital kit. Um, the Bean, that's based off of Barista Brunch, which was a kit all about coffee and brunch so yeah I think it's really cool that they incorporated their kits into all of this so that's the vellum all right then we have our paper so we have a paper that matches that vellum so you can see it a lot better here with all those shops on it and then on the back of that, you have a teal watercolor wash. Like I said, you get two each of three designs. Then you have a sheet with just the camellias, which is like the acetate. It has not quite a black background, but very close to black. And then on the other side, you have this dark pink wash. And then the third paper is this fun print with all of the shopping bags and some bows. And in the very back, if you can see that, it has a bunch of little hearts in the very back. And then on the back side of that is a very dark wash. So that is all of the standard papers. Now, in uh, with your subscriptions, you can add on if you choose to. So you can add on additional paper. And you can add on additional stickers. 
I always advise if you're big into scrapbooking, if you know you're going to be using a lot of paper, definitely add the additional paper. If you love a lot of stickers, you're going to want to add the additional stickers because otherwise, this is all you're going to get and this is not enough for me. Believe me, it's not enough. And that kit, I told you, that is just going to be amazing. If you're, once you watch that trailer, I'm going to try my best to remember to link it. Once you watch that trailer, you better run and subscribe because people are already ordering multiples and adding multiples of that kit and multiples of the sticker books and stuff to their subscription. So it's it's not going to last. So when you get the additional papers, you get another sheet of acetate and another sheet of vellum, as you see here. And then you get three new designs, two of each. So this one, you have all of the piggy banks and coins and credit cards and rewards and purse and pocketbooks. I think this is probably one of my favorite papers from this kit. Um, it's just so cute. And I love the stripes in the background. And then on there you have the teal wash in the back. And then here we have, this is similar to that other paper. Let me show you, but the camellias are just smaller here. That's pretty much the difference. And then the dark background is different. I think I prefer the larger one though than the smaller print. But yeah, that, they're very, very, they're very similar. And then on the back of that one, you have this wash. And then the last paper that you will get if you get the additional paper is this one with the piggy banks and the coins and the camellias and it's all in this pink and brown. And then that is the back of that one. So I'll definitely use these spending savings related papers and things in my new budget planner when I get. So that is the additional paper that you can add on. I, and, and just in case you're wondering the cost, it's I pay around fifty dollars, fifty. I'm gonna say more close to fifty-five dollars every month for everything that you're seeing here, and it's a lot. Most people's subscription boxes do not include as much stuff as this subscription box, not at all. Um, so just to give you an idea, if I can get this out. So this is the additional sticker book that you can get. Like I said, if stickers are your thing, you're going to want to get the additional sticker book. Every piece of the sticker book is designed to be usable. So this piece here, you could take that off and reuse that. This acetate, you can take that off and reuse it. The design always wraps around to the back. As you can see, it's similar to the welcome card. So, yeah. So the first page here is going to be mainly some deco. So this is on paper and you have that rose gold foiling on the pieces here. There's the main character and here you see another character with all her shopping bags. Here is the second page. We have the shops here, all of them. It's actually yeah, there were seven shops. I was right. Then we have some of those saving cards, which these can still be functional, and I could you could still write on those. And then you have these boxes with the florals, and then the PA tones boxes. So this is little blue, blushing beauty, and black to basic. So those are the colors there. And these are also on paper. And then this sheet is on clear. All of the stuff that's right on the edge is not cut, but you can just cut along there with a craft knife and still get the most out of your sticker sheet and use every piece of the sticker sheet. So here we have a bunch of icon stickers, which in the last unboxing I said I wasn't too keen about a bunch of icons, but all of these here can be used in my budget planner. I, I usually prefer more of the art pieces, those are highlighters in case you were wondering what those are. 
And those are on clear and this sheet is on clear as well we have all the minis some of the minis are just decorative some are functional and you always have your peekaboo minis here and here and again you can cut along there to use all of that sticker sheet then we go into our weekly pages there are four themed weekly pages and those weekly pages are themed based on some of the papers from the kit so here it has that same quote from the quote card. I see it, I like it, I want it, I got it. So you have the storefront here. Look at the rose gold touches on there, I really like that. So then this is one theme, this is heavy on the florals as well for this theme. Two of the themes will be foiled, two of them will not be foiled. So this theme is based on that acetate that black acetate so you have the black and white lined florals one thing I felt to mention is that this is all separate pieces along here the format of this is going to change with the um, with one of the upcoming kits but all of these are separate pieces so that's one piece two three then you have a habit tracker and then you have a little washi strip so this is two washi strips here you have some functional boxes and then date covers and every weekly theme has the date covers this um, banner which I usually use as a weekend banner as well then here is the third one this is all about you know kind of sitting and getting your bills and your budget planning together you can see the coins there and the envelopes the highlighter with the blue stripes in the back I really like this one because I love the stripes a lot and this one is also foiled again several pieces and you can just put them up against each other in your planner and then the last theme is all about the shopping I love that they put the the little black hearts from the background of one of those papers onto these boxes and you have all the shopping bags and the uh, shipping boxes over here I love those little hearts. They just look like little polka dots and it adds such a nice touch. And all those weekly themes are on paper. Right, then we get some more deco. Again, you could cut along here to use that. We have some date, uh, I'm sorry, some bullet points here. And all of this is on clear. And then here we have some paper. You have those mirrors. This says you look stunning and this one says splurge. <laughs> I think that is so funny that the mirror is telling you to splurge. Shame on you, shame on you. And that you can cut and that would be a beautiful washi strip. That that fencing and everything with the florals. So these are washi strips, all of these. Here's just tissue paper from your mini packages. So cute. That is too funny. The mirror is telling you to splurge. Oh my goodness hilarious then this page is a bunch of functional pieces you may not be able to tell but it's a bunch of separate boxes here it's a bunch of checklists and flags several of them um, in the different colors of, of the kit and then the last page is a foiled page it has all that rose gold foiling you get some more date dots here some more days of the weeks up there some more days of the week down here and several different headers and there's also a few icons within there as well so that is your additional sticker book that has 12 pages of additional stickers as opposed to just getting two pages so again you have your additional stickers you have your standard stickers and then you can add on additional papers if you'd like, which I suggest if you're a heavy scrapbooker um, or love to do paper crafting. And then we have the standard papers. We also have die cuts. We have stamps. Here um, was our mystery item. I had taken it out of the packaging but look at the backing card to that that can be used to that would be cute used on a card mm -hmm. all right then there's the pen 
There's our three washi tapes that we had here. So the three washi, and then we also have the welcome slash quote card. So those are all the things that you would get if you buy both the standard kit and the additional papers and additional stickers. You can also just get a sticker book only subscription. And if you get the sticker book only subscription, you will only receive that sticker book every month. So there are different ways to handle your subscription. One thing I like about them is if you want, you can add on more than one sticker book. They do have that ability for you to do that. You, um, but not quite yet for the papers. You can usually only add one additional paper pack, but you can add on more than one sticker book. So that's that's pretty wonderful. So comment below, let me know what you think about Shop Till You Drop. Um, do you like the colors? Do you like the themes? Do you like the florals? There's always a lot of different aspects that can appeal to everyone within the kits. Um, but if you're interested, like I said, I do have a coupon code in the description box and that will uh, click that link and that will save you 10% on your first subscription. So you guys know what else to do. Be sure to slay, subscribe, like, and accept the alerts so you don't miss any videos and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.